will focus on how we can create some achievements that are dependent on other achievements, which means that whenever we create an achievement, we'll have the option of creating this achievement so that it's dependent on another achievement, and this achievement won't be earned until the other achievement is earned. Uh, to do this, we need to tell each achievement what other achievement is dependent on. So we need to go to the achievement class to, to get this, and we need to create a list of achievements. So you're going to write private list achievement and we're going to call this dependencies equals new list achievement okay so if you don't have the list um, functionality here you need to go to your namespace up here and write using system dot collections dot generics so now we have a list of all the dependencies this achievement has when we have this list, we can create a function for adding dependencies to the achievement. So go below your constructor here and write public void um, add dependency. And it's going to take in an achievement dependency. And all this function is going to do is that it's going to take and add one dependency to uh, to this list here. So we're just going to say dependency sees that add dependency. So now we're adding a dependency to our list. We could also just have created a what's called a property for accessing this. But now I just uh, made made a function for it. You can also just make a property by right clicking and saying refactor so that you can access it. So now that we have dependencies on our achievement, well, we also need to check if all the child objects of this, uh, all dependencies of this achievement has been unlocked before we actually start to unlock this achievement. Because if one achievement is dependent on three others, well, then I don't want to be able to earn this achievement until the three other achievements has been earned. So I'm going to make an inside my if statement here, make an and, and then I'm going to say if dependencies dot exist so we're gonna run through all dependencies or all achievements inside dependencies and if every time we find one of these we're gonna call it x and we're gonna check if x is x dot unlocked is false so this line here is basically a for each loop that runs through every single uh, object inside dependencies if we find if if we don't find anything that is not unlocked, well then it's okay to go in here and earn this achievement. So this line of code basically checks, well, all my dependencies, we need to run them through, and if one of them uh, isn't unlocked, well then we don't want to go in here. But if we manage to run through the whole list, and none of them is, uh, is, is still locked, well, then we can go in and earn this achievement. When we have earned this achievement, we need to check if there is any achievements that are dependent on this achievement and we need to earn those achievements as well or try to earn them as le at least because the dependencies list contains achievements that this um, achievement is dependent on but there might also be some achievements that are dependent on this exact achievement and we need to check if we can earn them as well so we need to create a string up here private string called child and this is the child is an achievement that is dependent on this achievement and then we need to create a um, property by right clicking going to refactor and encapsulate field so that we can access it from the outside and we're not interested in the set part we're only interested in the get so that we can um, set it or actually we're also interested in the set i think so that we can actually get it from the outside uh, because we might want to set the child from the outside actually so just scratch that just both keep the get and get the set um, then down here we need to check well if our child isn't null so if we have a child well then we have a, a, an achievement that is dependent on this achievement and then we need to try to earn it so we simply say achievement manager dot instance dot earn achievement and the achievement earn achievement wants a string so it's just gonna say child 
So now we are trying to earn the child achievement and the code will jump in here and then it's going to check uh, if the child achievement has all dependencies um, correct, if all the dependencies are unlocked and then it's going to try to earn that child object and then it's going to check does that child have a child and so forth. So in this way we are sure that we check up on all ach achievements that are dependent on each other. So now we need to set up all these parent-child um, dependencies here and we can do that from our achievement manager inside our create achievement function so let's find that here we have it so we want to be able to tell um, the achievement which achievements it's um, dependent on when it we create it but we also want to be able to create an achievement without any um, dependencies so we can create one achievement that is not dependent on other achievements um, and to do that we need to add a new parameter up here and it's going to be a string with the names of all the achievements that this achievement is going to be dependent on so we're going to make a new string array called dependencies so right now we're not able to create an achievement without giving in dependencies let's say that we say um, here we say create actually we can just go up here and check it where we have the error here you can see well I'm going to create the general uh, inside the general c uh, category I'm going to create um, an achievement called press W and as you can see if I make a comma here it wants to include the dependencies for this one but maybe I'm not going to have any dependencies for this achievement so I want to make the possibility it possible for us to create this achievement without giving in these dependencies and I can do that down here by creating an optional parameter and an optional parameter basically has a value set from the get-go so if I say dependencies equals null for example if I do that well then it's possible for me to create this without giving dependencies here you can see even though I don't give it dependencies it actually um, accept this without it giving any errors but before I had an error because I needed to give in a dependency and that's because I set an optional parameter because I already gave it a value here when I set the parameter I can do the same for the others I can say that we don't need a parent for example I can say uh, get something here like this and then I wouldn't need to put in a parent at all times for example yes um, and yeah, of course now it just complained because optional parameters needs to be placed at the end of this so if I would put this as an optional parameter I would need to put it at the end here after all uh, parameters that are not optional anyway that's optional parameters just a little side note here so now we have the dependencies and we need to check what dependencies this achievement has and we can do that down here by saying well if dependencies isn't equal to null so if it isn't equal to null well then this achievement must have some dependencies so that we need to create these dependencies then we're going to say for each string item it's okay in dependencies so for each item inside dependencies well then we need to make a new achievement called dependency and it's going to be equal to achievements item or oh, actually we can give this instead of item we can call it um, achievement title that makes more sense so what we just did is that we give in a string a list of strings to this achievement that it needs to be dependent on so for example press w should be dependent on press space for example so you can't earn press W before press space has been earned so what we do here is that we check well do we have any dependencies if the string array exists well then we can check what strings is in there so then we run through and we find out that well dependencies um, this one here dependencies in, in contains the string name of press space for example and then we say well we are gonna create a temporary uh, dependency here and we're gonna find it from our achievement so we have a list of all our achievements which means that we look through all our achievements and then we find 
the gym with the correct title, which would be press space, and then we create the dependency. And then we're going to say that this achievement here, that we just found, this dependency, has a child, and that dependency, let's write like this, dependency.child equals the title that we just created because we need to check as we just wrote before inside our team that each achievement um, might also have a child that is dependent on itself so we're going to find our press space and tell press space that the child of press space is press w so whenever we earn press space then we're also going to try to earn press w to see if um, all dependencies and that one is, is um, completed then we're also going to say well we have this a new achievement here and we're going to add a dependency and this dependency is going to be achievements and then it's going to be achievement title so basically we actually just skip the dependency here so that the new achievement which is press w is dependent on press space and press space has uh, now has press w as a child yeah i hope this makes sense so what we just created i can just make some simple comments here that explains it so uh, dependency is equal to um, press space for example and press space uh, is not dependent on anything then we have our new achievement which is equal to press W and press W is dependent on press space um, and press space is child Let's do like this child is equal is equal to press W so press space child is press W press W is dependent on press space so we just made a parent child um, relationship here by doing this basically. Now that we have created our dependencies we can start writing the code so we can test it. So if you scroll all the way up to your start function we need to create a couple of achievements here so that we can actually test this. And to do that we can basically just copy our create achievement general press W two times and one is going to be press S for example and it's going to be called press S to unlock this achievement and then we're going to make a new achievement here called press uh, it's just going to be all keys or something so and the description is going to be press all keys to unlock or something and right now all keys is just W and S but you get the, the idea and it's going to be worth 10 points for example we're still going to use the same sprite right now this is the index of the sprite but we want to add some dependencies to this all keys achievement. So to do that, we're going to make a comma and we're going to write new, not new, but new string. And we're going to make a string array here. And to make a string array in one line, we can write new string, square brackets, then open a scope. And in here we can put the dependencies like this. So this is one dependency and this is another. And the dependencies is going to be press W, copy this one. And the other dependency here is going to be press S. So the achievement all keys is dependent on that press S and press W has been earned. So if you save this, you can jump out into Unity. And then we can play our game. So if we open up our achievement here, we will see we have all these three achievements we just created. We have press W, press S, and press all keys to unlock. And actually, before we do this, sorry, I'm kind of tired apparently, we of course need to try to unlock press S. So we have down here in our code, so uh, try to jump back into your code before you try it. Uh, in your code, you have input that get key down W. Um, we also need to do the exact same thing for press S. So key code that is press S. There we go. So now we are trying to earn press W achievement and press S achievement by pressing these keys. So if we save this, go back into Unity, and open up, and we press W, then we earn the press W achievement, and now when I press the S button, I should earn 
both achievements here, press S and press the, uh, all keys. And I just pressed the S button and I earned all keys achievement that was dependent on these two. And I earned the S achievement by pressing the S button. So that was how we could make dependent uh, achievements. In the next tool, we'll look at how we can make these achievements fade in and out on the screen because right now, when we earn an achievement, it just pops up and then it just disappears. But we want to make this look a little cleaner, so we want to fade them in and they fade them out after, after a while.